I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from Your Black World in the Black Wealth Boot Camp, and I wanted to uh, talk to you for a second about something that I was reading um, on yourblackeducation.com, uh, and it was an article asking uh, an interesting question. The question was, are we putting too much pressure on kids uh, when we uh, push them to prepare for college when they're still in middle school? And um, and I, I, I this article sparked something in me uh, that led me to uh, make this very short video for you uh, because I, I want to really set the record straight on this uh, as as an educator as a black man as a human being. Um, uh, here's the the short answer to that question is absolutely not. No, it's not. Um, there are in many other cases in which we push our children to extraordinary excellence, extraordinary excellence. Uh, if you think it's too much pressure to prepare for college while you're still in middle school, uh, I would say that there's more pressure in teaching a kid to play like an NBA basketball, like an NBA player at the age of 12, than there is in preparing for college. Uh, in fact, it's hard, much harder to be an NBA player or an NFL star than it is to become a surgeon, an attorney, uh, a business owner, or something uh, that will give you lifelong income, lifelong success, and a much higher likelihood of of achievement. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of our boys are kidnapped uh, at a very early age, and they're recruited into these training camps that prepare them for a life of sports. Now, I don't have a problem with kids playing sports. I used to want to play sports myself, but the bigger problem is that these kids become hypnotized by sports. They believe they're going to be the next LeBron James. There's a culture that comes with that, with womanizing, weed smoking, drinking, just acting a fool, no education. So the kids invest everything, some of them, not all of them, they'll invest everything in this hood dream of becoming an athlete. And then when that doesn't work out, which it doesn't work out for 99.9% .9 of them, they, they end up not having anything else to fall back on. They've never identified themselves as the next great surgeon or the next great attorney. They've only identified themselves as the next great athlete. So they spend, in some cases, spend the rest of their lives uh, regretting, dreaming, being sad and depressed over the fact that they didn't get their athletic dream uh, that they'd had since they were a little boy. Uh, remember, we define children at a very early age, and unfortunately, our society defines our children in such a way that they internalize these definitions, which ultimately excludes and precludes their ability to go into the economic system and become something successful. Uh, I would say that there's more pressure learning all, you know, when we got all these kids learning Little Wayne lyrics by the age of five. That's a lot harder to do than to learn calculus and all these other things that people do. Uh, you got kids learning the latest dances. You got kids, uh, it's much more pressure to have to dodge bullets in the hood than it is to prepare for college at, at an early age. So what I really uh, get up being very frustrated about is when we accept excellence in areas that are consistent with our stereotypes. But when it comes to pursuing excellence in other areas, we somehow think that's too hard. Oh, you're being too mean to the baby. That's just too much. That's just too much. No, it's not too much. No, no, there's nothing wrong with having your child learn college level math at the age of 10 or 11. Asian kids do that crap all the time. Uh, you look, you see white kids that come from families that where education is valued. Uh, they don't let their kids just sort of sift through the educational system and hope for the best. Education should not be the last conversation topic at your dinner table. You shouldn't clap harder. When your child scores a touchdown or scores 30 points in the basketball game than you do when he does well on his math test. We must embrace education. And remember, as I've talked to you about in many cases uh, with the Black Wealth Boot Camp and other places, there's a difference between going to school and getting an education. That starts with the school system. It starts when your kid's are little. You send your child to school just because they're going to school every day, just because they're bringing home good grades, doesn't mean they're being educated. And in fact, even if they're being educated at school in a certain way, they're probably being indoctrinated into a white supremacist way of thinking. So if you're not educating your child, then your child is probably not being educated. So uh, let's get rid of these low standards. Uh, not that everybody, not that all of us embrace these low standards. I know plenty of black people who embrace very high standards for their children. And what I say to those parents is push harder, go higher, push your child to be better, better than you ever thought they could be, better than they thought they could be. Give them that confidence to always want to aim for the very top of everything that they do. For those who don't talk about education with their children, uh, understand you're paving the way for your child to have a life of frustration, mediocrity, and racial oppression. Education is one of the keys to freedom for black people, but beyond education, there, there is economic empowerment, which is why uh, two major projects I've de de devoted my whole life to are the Black Wealth Boot Camp to help black people not just be 
build wealth, but to build their own institutions. You can't keep begging the white man to let us into his stuff. He ain't going to do it. But then also your black education, where black people can start educating their own children and connecting black educators from across the country with children who need that kind of leadership. Those are two things that are very, very important to me. I feel free to check them out. I hope this was helpful to you. Remember, uh, excellence is taught to your children. Do not, uh, do not live a life of mediocrity and teach mediocrity and expect your child to be anything other than a mediocre person. That's all I want to say. I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins uh, from Your Black World and the Black Wealth Boot Camp. Please have a wonderful day. I'm gone. Peace.